Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Meet the Life Harmony Micro DDC, the sibling of the award-winning Life Harmony Micro Deck. This Micro DDC is built with the same high standard. This is the perfect companion for your digital audio setup. But what exactly is a digital to digital converter and why does it matter? Let's take a closer look. A digital to digital converter or DDC takes digital signal, refine, converts and optimize it before sending to your external deck. In another words, it enhances the quality of the digital signal without changing it to analog. But not all DDC are created equal. The Live Harmony Micro DDC is more than just DDC. It is a powerhouse designed to do a lot more than simple digital signal conversion. Built with precision engineering, it improves the signal integrity, reduces jitter, and ensures a cleaner digital signal path and so on. It is a meaningful upgrade to your digital audio signal chain. The Micro DDC is built with the same high standard as its sibling as you can tell. It features CNC machine high quality aerospace grade aluminum billet chassis, beautifully, beautifully crafted. I would say it looks as good as it sounds. It is the jewel in audiophile gear. On the front panel, huh, before I forget my pointer, on the front panel, you'll find LED indicators for the selected input. On the top, it houses the push button for input selection and configuration. It is straightforward to use and nothing complicated. It gives you an intuitive and great user experience. At the back of the micro DDC is where all the connection happens. It accepts 5 volt power supply via DC jack or USB type C connection. This provides the flexibility for the power option. When it comes to digital inputs, the micro DDC offers a full range of options, ranging from USB, AES EBU, coaxial, and I2S. The inclusion of this I2S digital input on this micro DDC is probably the first on the market, giving you even more flexibility in setting up a DDC in your system. These digital input signals are optimized by the complex digital processing inside the micro DDC and output through an I2S output connector over HDMI port. Please note, this is not a multimedia HDMI. It is an I2S output utilizing the HDMI connector. Additionally, you'll find a BNC master clock input that allows the micro DDC to synchronize with a high quality, low phase noise, 10 MHz master clock. This further enhance the performance and share a low phase noise, ultra precise timing and reduce jitter to the maximum possible. What makes the micro DDC stand out is the future proof design. If you pay attention, there's a UPG pinhole button for further future firmware update. This ensure your micro DDC stay up to date with the latest announcement from live whenever they become available. Now, let me dismantle the micro DDC and show you the engineering marvel by the brilliant live audio team. Just a disclaimer, do not attempt this at home. Dismantling any electronic device will likely void the manufacturer warranty. Let me look for my Allen key and remove some of the screw. I already had most of the screw removed, so I just have to remove two of them to shorten this video. Okay. All right. Ta-da! The inner beauty of the micro DDC. What you see here is the cumulative years of experience engineered and designed for the best possible digital audio performance. Let's take a closer look at what makes this micro DDC stand out. Despite the compact size, the micro DDC is packed with hundreds of high quality components. Let me walk you through the circuit flow. First of all, the DC power supply. 
The DC power supply is supplied to the DC jack or the USB-C at the rear panel. The DC filtering circuit here does its job to filter out ripple, noise and interference that may be generated from an external switch mode power supply that come with the micro DVC package. As we know, upgrading the switch mode power supply to a high quality linear power supply can and will improve the sound quality of the audio equipment. Good sound equal to good power equal to good sound. We all know this. All right, take a closer look of the DC power regulation happens inside the micro DVC. On the PCB, there are thousands of high quality linear technology LDO regulators. Let me do a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are total eight of them. This linear technology LDO provides ultra low noise regulator and provides clean and stable DC power supply to optimize the performance and operation of the micro DVC to the best possible. Next, the digital input signal will go by the USB. The USB signal is processed through a proprietary microcontroller before converted to an I2S and sent to this FPGA. The AES EDU, the coaxial, are also routed to this FPGA. The I2S goes through a LVDS to LVCL CMOS converter before reaching the FPGA. What is FPGA? It is the heart of the micro DDC. A few programmable gate array, purpose builds and program for high-end audio. The FPGA 5 buffer and reclock all digital inputs using the built-in high precision low phase noise femtor clock found here. These femtor clocks are from a reputable company, Acu Silicon. This ensure low jitter, ultra precise timing. And what makes the micro DVC stand up is the 10 MHz master clock input. This allow the micro DVC to synchronize with a high quality master clock using its precise, even lower phase noise clock signal can further elevate the sound quality of the micro DVC and this micro DVC can be an excellent choice for serious audiophile who already owns high quality master clock. Let's look at this PCB cutout. These are what I call firewalls. A set of high speed galvanic isolator separate the left and the right and eliminate potential noise and impurity in any signal. The galvanic isolator signal are routed to another timing critical microcontroller here, the Altera CPLD. This specialized chips process the signal and output ultra precise low jitter I square signal through this LVC MOS to LVDS converter to this I square HDMI output connector at the back of the unit. One thing interesting is that the clock signal of the micro DVC, be it the built-in femtor clock or the external master clock, are also processed through this timing critical speed CPLD. The processed clock signal from this CPLD are routed through this galvanic isolator and fed into the FPGA for signal processing. It is quite a complex process altogether but with one goal in mind, ensuring impeccable digital audio performance. With the micro DDC, you get ultra low jitter clocking for better timing accuracy, multiple digital inputs with I2S input, giving you flexibility in your setup, and it can be seamlessly integrated with high-end DAC with compatible I2S input to unlock their full potential. If you're serious about digital audio, the Live Harmony Micro Deck is a game changer. Experience the difference yourself. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and possibly leave us a comment so that we can improve. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.